Have you ever moved a session from one studio to the next? Or one computer to the next, one hard drive to the next? How you ever opened up your session and some audio files was missing? And you just don't know why? Where could they be, baby? Where they at? Let's talk about it. What up, yo? This is your boy, Wavy to the mother if he Wayne. Yeah, that's right. It's your boy Wavy Wayne. And you tuned in to the Wavy Way tip of the day on YouTube. <laughs> Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Wayne.wave. That's W-A-V, like the audio file, all right? Tim, tune in to my life, man. You get to see my ugly kids. You get to see my bad wife. You get to see some studio stuff, man. You can see everything. All right, tune in, man, on Instagram. That's Wayne.Wave, all right? But thanks for tuning in right now. Basically, what we're going to be talking about is some options in the import audio dialog box. Let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. Let's say I wanted to import a beat or something like that into my session, right? So before I get started, I'm just going to go ahead and import audio, Shift-Command-I if you're on a Mac, or Shift-Control-I if you're on a PC, or you could do it the granny way and just go up to a file, Choose import audio if you want to be slow about it. All right. But let's take a look here. Let's say I, I like this beat, man. Shout out to my man D Hood. He got a whole list of beats right here for me. I'm about to cook up something special. <laughs> All right. But once I select the beat, right, select this track, I got a couple options here. Do I want to add these files or copy them to my session, right? Um, and what is the difference? Well, it's a big difference, a huge difference, uh, a catastrophic failure type of difference, man. You could really screw something up if you don't know the difference between adding files and copying those files. So let's take a look at it, right? Basically, if you add a file, Adding allows you to use that file in your Pro 2 session without placing it in the audio files folder for that session. It basically means if you understand the session hierarchy, right? The folder hierarchy, you got your Pro 2 session folder, you got the PTX in there, you got an audio files folder, you got some other stuff, but mainly that audio files folder where all the files that you import and record in will be saved to that audio files folder. If you are importing and you only hit add, Pro Tools will simply reference that file from its original location. It will not be added to the audio files folder. So an example of that, you get a client, he comes in with some beats on his flash drive, walks in, put it in your computer, you use import audio to bring it in, you hit add, <laughs> and then you y'all record, the session is great, Boom, he leaves, he takes the flash drive with him, all right, calls you back the next day. Hey, can you just turn my volume up on the vocal a little bit or something and rebounce it and send it to me? You're like, okay, no problem. You, you open up the session and boom, the beat is missing, right? That's because that beat was added and Pro Tools was only referencing it from its original location, which happens to be the client's flash drive. So if you are comfortable with the location and you sure that you always gonna have access to those files and there's no need to make duplicates of it, then hit add, okay? But by choosing copy, this guarantees that Pro Tools will force a copy of that um, file to be placed in your session, in your session's audio files folder. So Pro Tools will copy it and now it won't just be in this original location. It'll still be there, but a new copy will now be contained within your session folder. And that just helps me sleep a whole lot better at night knowing that all my audio files is in one place. It's 9 p.m. Do you know where your audio files are? <laughs> you don't want to be that guy, man. It's in the session or open up a session and you're missing audio files. Um, that's a tough, tough spot to be in, okay? So make sure that you uh, copy all the files, okay? Next thing. Now, there also may be a time when you need to convert files, right? So let's say you just got an MP3, something that you downloaded, right? Well, if you are importing an MP3, and this computer don't seem to want me, okay, cool. Let's say I'm importing an MP3, right? The MP3, cannot be added directly into your session. It must be converted. 
And whenever Pro Tools needs to convert a file, it automatically creates a copy and puts that converted file in your audio files folder. So you don't have nothing to worry about there. The problem comes in is when the file is already compatible with your session and you have the choice to either add or copy. Now be careful because sometimes if you just double click on that file, if it's compatible, then Pro Tools will automatically decide to add that file into your session instead of making a copy of it. And then you may not know exactly where your audio files are at in that case, okay? So most of the time, 99.999% of the time for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy all the files over to my session, take up a little bit more space on my hard drive, but at least I'm sure and guaranteed that I got all my audio in one spot, all right? Make sure y'all hit up wavywayne.com to get your discounted sauce merch. You know what I'm saying? Get that studio fly. Make sure you get your templates, man. Them templates been helping out a lot of y'all. Y'all been sending me mixes that y'all done with them templates. I thank that. Thank y'all for that, man. Y'all getting so much better. Um, shoot me an email if you got any specific questions or you got a, a topic you want to see me cover. Also, leave a comment and tell the whole world how dope you are. All right? It's your boy, Wavy Wayne. Be wavy. <laughs>